here's another healthy and tasty recipe to try. Enjoy. Healthy Me TV, your home of good health. Hi everyone, welcome to Delcy's Desserts and Cakes. Today, I'm going to show you my favourite Christmas recipe, the Oatmeal Cranberry Cookies. This is a high in fibre cookie recipe and as well as high in antioxidant because of the cranberries. So let's start baking. So here you have the oatmeal. This is 200 grams that you require. And this is a wholemeal flour, 267 grams. Fresh cranberries, 64 grams. Brown sugar, you need about 185 grams. And this is trans fat free oil, you need 100 grams of this. As well as rice milk. So this, you need about 140 grams. For those who are uh, dairy intolerant, so this is actually a saviour. If you don't have rice milk at home, you could use soy milk, oats milk or hazelnut milk. So, we can start baking now. Alright, so let's ask, uh, mix all the dry ingredients together. First, you need a big bowl and uh, you just pour in the oatmeal as well as the whole meal flour. Alright, so now I'm going to put in the raw sugar. Okay, add in the oil. Follow on by the rice milk. Okay, next mix them all together. This is a very high in fiber recipe and it makes a very great uh, snack on the go. Okay, just make sure that all the dry ingredients are mixed well into the wet ones, okay? Until it forms a wet dough like this. Okay. So now the next step is to actually smash the cranberries, cut it into half and then smash it down. So this will help us uh, to add in more antioxidant into the batter. For cranberries, right, its content is very high in antioxidant. It makes a very good fruit. And for people with diabetic condition, this is also very low in GI. For babies as well, uh, which is about a year, half to two years, uh, they are able to start taking berries in their diet. So cranberry adds as a very good vitamin C source. So that's where um, all the health factor goes in. And uh, you'll definitely enjoy it as much as I do. This should be enough. What I'm going to do next is to actually bring out my baking tray and we're going to make a giant piece of cookie. When you press the cookie downwards, right, try not to make it too thin because baking it together and if the thickness of each cookie is different, it bakes at a different rate. So try to ensure that all of them has the same amount of thickness. If you can't find fresh cranberries, it will be good that you can get those that are dried. Just make sure that you soak them in water first. It actually helps to remove the sugar content on the surface of the dried cranberries. Same thing for the raisins, if you like to give it a little bit different uh, feel and you can create two flavours at one time. Yeah. The colours of the cranberry really makes it look very festive. It would be perfect for this Christmas. Alright, so here we are. Five big pieces of cookies. So now, I just have to make sure that my temperature is at 170 degrees and I will put them into the oven now. And I will switch it on to about 10 minutes and let it bake for a while. How to test whether your cookie is cooked? First of all, just use your finger, give it a slight touch on the surface of the cookie, especially in the center. Make sure that the surface is really tough meaning that it has hardened and it shouldn't sink down when you press it on lightly. And you'll notice that the circumference of the cookie is slightly brown, so this is how you know your cookie is cooked. Well, so savour this healthy recipe this Christmas. Merry Christmas to you and a Happy New Year!